Welcome back to Crafty Nanny, the place where you can get original stories and simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. There's a new story each week, so remember to share, subscribe, and come back to see what's new. Let's find out what's happening in today's adventure. Today's story is Patch, Hedgy and Scoot, Paint Thank You by Anushka R. Merrill. Patch, Hedgy and Scoot's dad was always helping others. He was a doctor at the local hospital and often left for work before they were awake. Today, Patch woke up just in time to see him leaving. Have a good day, Dad, Patch called as he walked out the door. Patch decided they should do something nice for all the doctors and nurses who were working as hard as his dad was. We should make cards for them, said Hedgy. That will be a lovely way to show them we care. The doctors and nurses had been working long hours due to the coronavirus pandemic. Hedgy went into the art studio to set up. Alexa, play classical music, she said to the music player. The atmosphere had to be just right for a creative painting session. With Mozart, Beethoven and Tchaikovsky streaming from the music player, Hedgy set up three easels for the budding artists. When she was done, she called in Patch and Scoot. Naturally, Patch, being Patch, had dressed up for the occasion. The artists drifted with the sound of classical music to faraway landscapes and historical landmarks. Patch floated off to a lawn in Paris, painting his picture near the Eiffel Tower. Scoots sailed to the Colosseum in Rome, where cypress trees touched the sky and swayed with the music. And Hedgy was transported to the steps of the Parthenon in Athens her easel delicately perched among the 2,000-year-old rubble. It was very peaceful in the art studio. After a while, Patch decided it was time to shake things up. Alexa, play dance music, said Patch. Okay, Patch, getting you the best kids dance songs from Amazon Music, the music player said. Instantly, drums and cymbals crashed and boomed with a lively version of the hokey pokey blaring from the speakers. Back at their easels, Hedgy and Scoot started dancing. They put their arms in, they put their legs out, and the two little artists shook themselves all about. Patch got carried away in the music and bumped into the art cart when he put his whole self in. The cart tipped over, sending jars of paint crashing to the floor. Every drop of paint spilled from the cans. Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot began cleaning up the mess. Suddenly, Patch stood up. Oh no, he said. How will we finish our cards if we have no more paint? Lucky for him, Hedgy was a Girl Scout and always prepared. She had books on all subjects and had just the two in mind for such an emergency. Art SOS and no paint, no problem. She knew there was a recipe for homemade paint in one of them. Patch, Hedgy and Scoots went down to the kitchen and mixed items from their pantry to make the paint. They used flour, cornstarch, spices, and berries to make beautiful colors to finish their cards. When they were done, Mom helped them clean up and load the finished cards and fresh oranges in a wagon. They would take the oranges as well as the cards as gifts for the hospital workers. As they walked out the door, Patch, Hedgy, Scoot, and Mom bumped into Mr. Miles, the postman. He was out delivering letters. Mr. Miles was very important to the community. He brought them letters and packages from their friends and family far away. Mom gave him a card to say thank you. Mr. Miles was pleasantly surprised. They continued their journey across the meadow and to the other side of the woods where the hospital was. There, they held up a thank you sign to the staff going in and out of the hospital. The doctors and nurses were very happy to see them and appreciated their gifts of cards and oranges. The end. No paint, no problem. Instead of using berries and spices like Patch, Hedgy and Scoot did, you can make no mess, non-toxic, 3D homemade gel paints with just three ingredients, cornstarch, water, and food coloring. Full instructions in the video description box. Thank you to all of our frontline workers working out there to keep things running and to keep us safe. We appreciate you. Keep crafting and we'll see you next time.